YouTube and all you kings on the Godway enthusiasts and all haters. This is V coming at you to answer a question I get asked a lot on and off camera. And that is whether or not the inexpensive Steelberg Air 2 helmet is comparable to the more expensive TSG helmet. Now, I will say this. Steelberg is not endorsing this video. I'm basically addressing a question that I seem to get asked a lot. So I decided to do a video on it. And for the purposes of this video, I will be concentrating more so on the Steelberg uh, 2 Air helmet. With that being said, in the research that I've done, I've come to realize that for the most part, as far as the inner lining and the outer shell, both helmets are made with the fiberglass plastic or fiberglass infused plastic for the outer shell and the inner shell is the polystyrene. Now basically because the TSG of course is $200 more depending on where you purchase the Steelberg helmet, there are some things that of course hands down TSG will blow Steelberg out of the water. One of the things that I like about the Steelberg a two air helmet is that the inner lining up top has a lot more cushion. The inner has a lot more cushion up top than the TSG. The TSG is lacking on in that category. However, on the TSG helmet, the side pads are a lot thicker and more snug to the face, which basically I, I, I like. Steelberg it is a cool looking helmet. It has the, the, the longest visor of any helmets manufactured, which is, it, it, it makes the helmet look futuristic, if you will. Uh, peripheral, it hands down, like the TSG, it basically, there are no restrictions when it comes down to the, your peripheral and being able to see. Now, as far as the standard in which, um, the Steelberg is tested. Now according to Steelberg, the, they, their standard of, of measure when it comes down to testing helmets in India, they go by the uh, Indian uh, Standard Institute, the ISI if you will, and they allege they, their standards meet DOT, Snell, the Economic Commission of Europe, which is the ECE um, standard for testing uh, helmets in, in Europe, and of course um, the uh, Indian uh, standard, and they their standards basically are supposed to be comparable. Uh, I cannot argue that. Uh, I've watched several YouTube videos wherein individuals have actually taken sledgehammers and dropped the Steelberg helmet from rooftops with a watermelon in it. Um, a couple of them have actually put a watermelon inside the helmet while riding and toss it just to test the impact and for the most part it, it, it held up to whatever standard that we here in, in, a, in the United States um, require for the helmets. Um, so I'm confident in the helmet at least providing at a minimum the protection I need to protect my head on, uh, in a fall while riding my EUC. Now like the TSG with the outer shell being that uh, the, the uh, fiberglass infused plastic, it basically that's supposed to minimize or disperse the the impact of, of a fall and then you have that second second uh, layer which is the polystyrene that too that's the second layer of your head protection in a fall. Uh, I noticed the TSG it seems the TSG polystyrene is just seems to be a, a little bit more tight more hard and rigid as opposed to this Steelberg but that's neither here nor there. They're both the same material. Uh, what else can I say about the Steelberg to outside of that? Uh, I will go into the cons of, of the Steelberg helmet. Uh, they, the Steelberg come in multiple colors. Multiple colors. Um, 
um, well, how should I say it? The chin strap. The chin strap is a quick release chin strap, which is unlike the, the, the TSG. The TSG have like the D, D ring straps where you have to fish the strap through and then snap it on the side. So sometimes that can be cumbersome when you're out and about, you're riding, you want to stop and take, you, you, you stop and you want to take your helmet off, so you're fumbling. I find with the TSG, I'm fumbling. But that's, that's the only takeaway from the TSG. I love my TSG, don't get me wrong. But I do love the, the quick release strap of the um, TSG, um, excuse me, of the Steelberg. Uh, one of the cons, well, several cons that I find with the Steelberg Air is that it only comes in two sizes. It comes in medium and large. There are no smalls. The liner, the unlike the TSG, TSG, they will, if you purchase a helmet and it doesn't fit, they'll send you a liner that's either, you know, will fit a larger or a smaller uh, facial feature, whereas as opposed to Steelberg, Steelberg, mm, not so much so. And the, the size measurement is off. I'm a medium across the board. However, this is a medium and it's kind of loose, again, because the side panels of the Steelberg is really loose. It's not full like the, the TSG. Also, because the TSG, the, the shield, comes all the way down to where the chin, basically, where your chin would be, there is no vent to prevent the shield from fogging. I've tried the shaving cream, soap, or water, shampoo, or whatever the case may be, to prevent it from fogging, which is not the case. So you're having to basically, you know, crack your shield in order to get the ventilation going so your, your, your shield is not fogging up. Another thing that I, I found, which is coming from, and maybe it's just me being anal, my chin. If you see, my chin is basically exposed. Now, some people may have issues with that. I sort of kind of have issues with that, but what I tend to do is I'll push the helmet all the way down and forward to where the chin is basically covered. Um, again, that's just me being uh, anal retentive in, in that regard. Um, now, uh, would I recommend the Stilberg Air over the TSG? If you're budget conscious and you don't really want to spend close to $300 for a TSG helmet, yeah, the Stilberg, by all means, is a, is a comparable, uh, put it like this, as far as the money, I mean, for, hands down for the money that the Stilberg costs, yes, it is a, a pretty uh, cheaper comparable uh, helmet um, that I can honestly recommend if uh, you just cannot get with how should I say the way that it actually seats on your head then no I would um, say find another uh, helmet that suits your need oh and before I forget the Steelberg like the TSG comes with the with two visors the day visor and the evening visor. Currently on on the helmet is the day visor, which is basically um, it's tinted. You know? But again, for the cost factor, I would recommend the uh, Stilberg Air um, if you don't have uh, the money or don't want to spend the money for the the TSG helmet. But other than that, uh, that's basically about it. I will say this, because I'm a stickler for protection, uh, wearing protection while riding an electronic unicycle or a skateboard, and there are people that for the most part still don't want to wear their protection, I will purchase a Stilberg helmet for a lucky subscriber. All you have to do in the comments section Put down the size of the helmet you wear. And, well, seeing how there's only two, medium and large. And um, a lucky subscriber within a month's time will win um, a free Steelberg helmet. So, um, with that being said, guys, until next time, Dill says.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like. Like if you will.